In this video, we're going to create a pivot table in Excel that includes some calculated fields. So you can see here I have a data set of monthly sales and expenses for four different branch locations for the first six months of this year. And what we want to do is create a pivot table that includes one calculated field for profit before tax and a second calculated field of profit after tax and just summarize them by these four branches. So I'm going to click anywhere in this data set. I'm going to go up to insert and then pivot table from table range. That's automatically going to select all the adjacent cells to the cell I clicked. And then it's going to ask where I want this pivot table to be placed. Now the default option is to add a new sheet and the pivot table will appear on that new sheet. Or we can select the second option to place the pivot table on the sheet we're on now. If I select that, it's going to ask for a location where I want it to begin. So I'm just going to click over here in this cell and click OK. A blank pivot table appears and then this pivot table fields box appears to the right with all the fields in our data set and we can drag these fields down here to these different sections depending on how we want to display our data so the first thing I want to do is get our location and drag it down to rows because I want the location values to be our row labels I want to drag our amount fields down to the value section so sales and expenses down here I want to format both of these amount fields so I'm gonna click on these drop down menus select value field settings and then number format and currency click OK and OK do the same thing for our expenses number format currency OK OK so now what I want to do is create our first calculated field. So up top here you should see some ribbons that are specific to the pivot table. So you may need to click in the pivot table for them to appear. Now this first one for me says pivot table analyze. It may say something different for you if you have an older version of Excel but I'm going to click in that ribbon and then look for fields, items, and sets and then select calculated field. And you can see in this dialog window that appears we have all of the existing fields and then up top is where we add our new calculated field. So it just has a generic field one name. We can change this to what we want. So I'm going to call this profit before tax and then in this formula I'm gonna get rid of the zero and then reference the fields that I want in this formula so this is gonna be sales minus expenses I'm gonna click add and now it appears in our list of existing fields so I'll click OK and you can see it is there now so now we want to add a profit after tax so I'm going to go back up to this pivot table, analyze ribbon, fields, items, and sets, calculated field. We'll call this profit after tax. And this time we're going to take the calculated field we just created, profit before tax, multiply this by 100% which as a whole number that would just be 1 so it's going to be 1 minus the US corporate tax rate of 21% so that's 0.21 I'm going to click add and there it is and now that is also in our pivot table well that is all for now thanks for watching